Tony, welcome back to my channel. My name is David. Today is another freaking fantastic day. It ain't Friday yet, but it is a beautiful day. Check out the sun. So, uh, a couple things I want to do today. I bought this uh, voltage meter. Uh, I'm going to wire it up. I'm going to wire it up uh, to my pump. I just want to make sure I keep a consistent uh, voltage where it's quiet and functional. Uh, the thing is, is that like with this, if this gets moved or knocked off, I'll like right now this this is barely on. You see because it, it barely reaches so I'm looking into getting two new knobs that will be put here will be a little bit better because I don't really like these knobs like this one falls off all the time too because it didn't they just barely they barely in there but anyways I want to keep a consistent voltage I want to keep it always at the same volt all the time so what I want to do is I want to install this I want to put it here and um, so this way in case I you know something happens I I just always want to keep it. I want to make sure the voltage is always the same, you know. Um, plus, if I if the pump is struggling, uh, the voltage will also like react differently. So that's why I want to make sure that I keep an eye on it. So I want to install this, put it right here. Okay, I'm gonna drill the hole right there. Um, I'm I'm almost positive that I might need to cut it the cut into it. The best part is it's got a really big lip there, so it can hide a lot more of the imperfections. Uh, I can't. I can't drill it that's the problem because this type of wood is strange it's like like there's a sheet here and then there's a sheet inside and there's another sheet so what happens it, it creates flickers like this so what I want to do is I, I think I'm gonna have to cut it by hand the circle once I mark it I'm gonna keep it very 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 consistent and the best that I can install it and then put the nut from the back of it and then plug it right in and uh, the other thing I want to do in this video is I do want to put these in also I want to cut these and cover all the pipes with them uh, because of uh, the cold. Uh, I do have antifreeze in there, but I also would feel better by keeping this in as well. Uh, I just, I would feel much better because I'm I'm just afraid that, you know, it might come out and like be frozen one day, you know? <sighs> all right, so um, one of my upcoming videos, I got, I'm bringing out all my uh, accessories from my desk. So I'm putting them out. You guys are going to see is actually going to be me mounting this boom arm with my uh, Insignia microphone. I need to install this camera um, here's my wireless logitech mouse my led mouse pad obviously my keyboard from one of my last videos uh, and then I'm, I'm trying i'm going through my closet i'm going through my ex my storage closet to see if there's anything else more that i bought because i swear there was more stuff i had to put on my desk that's going to be one of the videos you guys are going to see that's an upcoming video but right now that's what i want to do i want to put that voltage meter there i want to cut this foam for insulation but dude seriously in here it gets like 80 degrees almost 90 degrees already once last week when i was editing my video it got almost 90 degrees in here because the thermostat is on is on on the radiator so with all that heat just flowing back and forth and <laughs> i had to open this because my, my computer temperature went up to like 111 uh degrees fahrenheit so i had to open this to get some fresh air once i opened it it dropped to like 102 because then it started sucking the amb ambient air from the room, which helped cool off the water instead of it circulating the hot air that's in there. So that I mean that that's that's one of those normal things that happen. I mean that's also I returned a few things like two weeks ago, uh, some hoses that I didn't need because I ended up using the five footers instead of the three footers. So I returned those and I just got my refund like today on Wednesday. Can you believe that? That's crazy, man. I dropped in the UPS box. That's the first time it's ever happened. All right, well anyways, let's get started. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm actually removing the glass and moving the printer, making room for me to work in there while I'm gonna cut the, the wall. Uh, I'm gonna do it with a knife, so it's gonna be a little bit of effort, but you know, it's gonna be worth it. I can't really go in there with the drill bit, you know, consistent. I've already removed that glass so many times. Honestly, when I built this and I put the desk there, I had no idea that I'd be in and out of that place so much. I'm gonna use my new blade to cut that hole. Uh, I just don't know how to take this damn thing out. Figured out how to take it off. I guess you have to push up You're like stupid. this in order to get it. I'm over there trying to figure it out. I should have been an idiot. So now it's in. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to cut through it. I'm most likely gonna go through about five blades. Whenever I do something manual like this, it takes quite a while. But I'm going to take this nut off. That's actually gonna secure it. I'm gonna take this uh, nut and I'm actually gonna trace it on the inside and keep try to stay within that line i can go out a little bit and for aesthetics and for aesthetics right i'm going to try to stay within that line as much as i can and it also has this big lip here where it will cover it 
most of the imperfections that I will end up getting from cutting it by hand. You won't even see it as long as I, I take my time and cut it gently. Also, this product came with these, which is great because what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna crimp them with the wire and then just go right ahead and plug them right in like that rather than solder them in. So then, then that cable is gonna get connected to the output of my motor where it's actually gonna tell me how many voltages I'm putting out to the motor, to the pump. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use some tape uh, to put underneath. And I'm probably just gonna put some tape also um, over where I just marked it and then I'm gonna retrace it on top of the tape. All right, so I got the hole in there. That's just uh, some flex pipe I put in there just to hold the cables, but it came out really good. Uh, when I put the new knobs on this, it's actually gonna cover right over that. The next step we're gonna do is we gotta go ahead and um, attach the cables to this these uh, crimps. So then I can put this in and bolt it from the back and then connect it to the output of for the motor. So now it's installed. Now the next thing to do is to see if it works. It's actually supposed to have like a reading the goals to go around. Okay, so now that that's working, it's actually gonna make, give me a consistent reading almost every time. So um, I guess I've been running that at like 4 volts and it's been keeping my system pretty cool. Here it is without, without leaving that door open. This is what I got. Um, I usually, when the, when the temperature is like 70 degrees outside, this is what I usually get between 98 to 104, 107. Uh, so basically that's what it is. Now, once I start editing, because of the temperature in this room, this little uh, area here is running at 75 degrees. So now my temps will most likely go up to 109, 111. Uh, so when that happens, I'll usually just crack this open and uh, let some fresh air from the ambient air of the room like go through the fins and that just drops this thing down to like 102 100 so because my room in here is pretty cool so that plays a huge part in it the one more thing that i want to do now is i want to start cutting this up insulating it uh to uh to, to get it real you know get it going and make it look more presentable i don't want to put this glass in my printer back until i do that so this way i don't have to keep taking that damn thing out <laughs> So I ended up buying a uh, Mercury Walmart branded uh, water, smart water flood sensor thing there. I actually unboxed it, but my freaking camera died. And anybody who has one of these video camera Canons, they know when the battery dies and you don't save the file while it's recording, it's no longer good. So that's happened to me like three times already. So I lost all that footage that I had of me unboxing it. Uh, showing it off testing it. I actually tested it uh, Sink with water to show you guys how it actually works. Yeah, I lost all that footage We're gonna make believe that it that I never did it <clears throat> We're just gonna go ahead with this guy and blah 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 and then I'm gonna show you guys uh, Me installing it so somewhat because it's kind of hard to put the camera inside that uh, little space there All right, sorry about that 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and remove this double-sided tape. I'm gonna mount it on that board right there. And I'm also going to take the sensor. The sensor I'm gonna slip underneath the motor. So if there's any type of leak, it will let me know. All right, so there you go. Uh, there is the sensor. I dropped it. Uh, I put it directly underneath the pump where the uh, hoses are. And also I added that there. So that's uh, that's going to conclude today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, basically, it's just stuff that I had to get done. Important, especially that leak detector. As you all know, I'm a freaking moron. So if it has some reason it starts leaking, you know, then it's all hell will break loose. We water everywhere. There's actually a different kind that you actually don't even have to uh, buy like that brand. You can actually buy like a different knockoff brand. And it's a very simple technology. I mean, you, you can set it up any way you want. There's, there's some with no software that you just hook up LEDs to it. Uh, then the LED will come on and flash you can set it up with a flash so it, it like a strobe So if there's any leak, it'll just strobe you can set it up so you can put your own buzzer on it Like I said, it's a very simple technology um, It's basically it uses water as a conductive So once that water passes over those pins it will activate anything you have on the other end That's gonna receive voltage. So once that's connected It's just gonna shoot voltage to the alarm to the LED to the strobe whatever you set up in there It's gonna just pump it out <laughs> All right, so I just wanna say thank you to everybody who subscribes to my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you enjoy my videos. Um, as time gets, goes on, I will obviously get better. Um, thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to be kind. I am a prodigy, I am a leader, they follow me. And if I don't like them, they lie me. Pull out the chopper, let the shebang. If you don't like it, then you not hang. Bitch, I'm a saint, I am not blowing the dang. We're filling up cups and we sipping that dang.